everybody. Welcome to Ypsilanti, Michigan. This is Jose from Southern Life. And Katie. And on today's video, we're going to be exploring Ypsilanti, Michigan, where my wife, Catherine the Great, was born. Yes. In the Ypsilanti, Ann Arbor, Michigan area. So this is kind of like a very meaningful video for Katie, being that this is where she spent the first years of her life. Yes. And she was a carpenter. What? The, <laughs> no. <laughs> I was a child when I lived here. <laughs> she was a child orthodontist. She worked on all the kids' teeth. I did not do that. No. Okay. All right. In the quarter mile, at the roundabout, take the second exit. Rainbow something. I'm not a realtor in Florida. Yeah, she's a dang realtor in Florida. I did not have an occupation when I lived here in Michigan, but I am a realtor in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. I'm with Keller Williams Suncoast. So if anybody wants to move to Florida, you want to try this the snow first with sand, you can Next reach Katie. On to Whitaker Road. Her Continue phone number miles. is... 239. 239. 440. 440. 41. 71. 71. 73. 73. So if you ever need to move to Florida for some reason or another, Call then me. Uh, yeah, we weren't living in the Sarasota, Bradenton area where we live now, but we're from Southwest Florida. So anything from Tampa, Fort Myers, Naples, Sarasota. Get a hold of us, and we okay. will. Or we, no. There's no we in this. There's no we. Oh, you're, only you're the realtor. Yeah, there's no we in this. There's no we in realtor. There's only a Katie. Yes. Everybody wants us to be a real estate team. I have to get my real estate license, too, I guess. Yeah, get your license, and we'll work on that. Right. But anyways, if you are tired of dealing with it, trying to pronounce Ypsilanti correctly. What? If, if you're tired of trying to pronounce Ypsilanti correctly. It's not that hard. You can move to Florida. And Lakewood Ranch just flows off the tongue a lot better. Lakewood Ranch. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. He catches me off a guard sometimes. Anyways, if you're tired of Michigan Co. Katie, enough of that. So, Katie, tell me about your shout. Whoa, that guy's crazy. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your childhood memories in, in Michigan. Do you remember this place at all? Uh, How old were you when you lived here? It, we moved when I was just before I turned four. Uh huh. But I did come back. Throughout my life. Okay. Yeah. And we actually have subscribers that live here. Yes. Yeah, we have subscribers that live here. So shout out to our subscribers that live here. I'm sure they'll be surprised to see us in their town. Yeah. Right, well, you guys are over in Florida. Yipsalampa lampa lampy tampy down here. I was like, I know you can say it, so I'm trying to. <laughs> not I didn't say it right sometimes. I can say it right. Watch. Yep, slampy. There's no... There's only one P, and it's at the beginning. Pips a pampy. Yep, slampy, lampy. <sighs> these people drive rust buckets up here. I wonder what's wrong with these people. Why do they let their cars go to crap? I mean, how hard is it to keep your car from becoming a rust bucket? None of my cars in Florida have ever got like that. Weirdly, ever. I remember the offer. <laughs> yeah. Weird things you remember from when you were a kid. Awesome. I'm glad yeah. you're going down memory lane right now. Yeah. I'm just perplexed by the fact that these people don't care about their cars. Yeah. Look at that. How do you even get a car to get rusted out like that? And then they crash their cars sideways and stuff. How do you crash your car sideways? I've never seen a, a place with so many side crashes. Like, do you know how hard you have to try to crash your car sideways? 
in Florida. You gonna turn left up ahead? Don't get me wrong, I see cars flipped over all the time, but I've never seen them crash sideways. A house here is like two hundred thousand yeah. dollars. I think it's a little overpriced. Nice place. See the type of great things that I do for you? Mm -hmm. Bring you back so you can relive, relive childhood memories. Mm -hmm. Nice looking houses though. I'm gonna go to downtown first? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever had a yawn? Look at this house made in stone, baby. <laughs> yeah. Did you have to do that? Quite literally, yes. Ew. Okay. Look at that truck. It's like all rusted out. How do you let your truck get like that? I have never had any of my trucks rust. Because you live in Florida where it doesn't snow. Where we are decent. And we don't we take care of our cars in Florida. It doesn't work like that. None of my cars are rusted. Because you live in Florida. <laughs> yeah, we take care of our cars in Florida. Jose I don't how do I, I don't, how do I even explain snow to you? Snow doesn't hurt us anything. They have to salt the roads. Stop salting the roads. And then people won't drive in the snow and they won't be crashing their car sideways. I figured out things There's that... There's safety. I, you know, like, I, there, my IQ has to be... I, I, I know you have a high intelligence, but... Sometimes I seriously think you have a low intelligence. <coughs> Pollen or something. Okay. Everything's in bloom. Well, what is the crap you say? Um, downtown Depot and e what's an emu? They have emus here. Baby, look, we want to go, look, we go Jose, pet emu? Eastern Michigan University. You can go to the university and pet emus? No, there's no emus. It's just Eastern it's Michigan Eastern University. Eastern it's just West Michigan Avenue. The initials. E for Eastern, M is Michigan, and U is University. Right. I'm there's no animals. Pet, I've always wanted to pet emu. Please, let me go pet emu. Sure, we'll go to the campus. You can, <laughs> you can find one. You can pet it. Yeah. There's a sign there pointing out there's an emu. Eastern Michigan University. This town sucks. It's got a lot of traffic. Why is there a slowdown here? Can we just drive around the slowdown? Jose. Yeah. Can I just take a left here? You're taking a left up ahead, but not there. It looked a lot more run down on Google Maps. Turn left onto West Michigan Avenue, then you will arrive at your destination. Okay. Yip Salampy. Shrimp Scampy. Oh, Yip Salampy. Oh. Shrimp scampi. Oh, are those murals over there? I'm pretty sure I can take a left turn here. You're you're taking it up at Michigan. I want to take. Look at all these murals. No, you're taking it up ahead here for showing the downtown. We can see the murals. They have murals too. Emus and murals. Look at that. Who wants to watch a video of us at a red light? We'll be turning it soon. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. So, what would you guys do for fun here in Limps and Lampy? I remember going to Toledo Zoo. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it was fun. Oh, but they got this road's closed. Mm -hmm. I think
See, that's you can still it, turn on it. Can you still turn on it? Yeah. Okay. Can you really? Yeah. All right. Ooh, this is neat. Yeah. Huh, it, wow. Very cool. I remember going to McDonald's. Nice. It was every, cool. Every it was like a hamburger jail. I liked it. It was fun. Jungle jail. That's uh. Don't ever take your kids to jail. You have arrived. Oh, we have, Siri. Yeah. We have. I will say, it does look um very like neat. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. It looks neat. Very neat. It looks kind of like... It has more character than I thought it would have. Yeah. I don't know why it looks so bad on Google Earth when I was looking at it. These houses are just gorgeous. Big too, look at the size of that thing. It looks like a mausoleum or something. Go around the block, Jose. Hmm? Go around the block. Mm -hmm. That's a one ways. Never got that. There's a one way. Mm -hmm. My question is why? Why be a one way when you can be a two way? The amount of architecture in this town is just cool. There's stuff in here. There is a blue. shocked how kind of lively it looks like there's lots of people walking around and like there's so much character to it on Google Maps it kind of looked depressing taking a left here hold on hold on left Head south on north, head west on West Cross Street toward Ballard Street, then turn left onto Ballard Street. Turn left onto Ballard Street. In 600 feet, turn left onto Washtenaw Avenue. What's crazy about the Detroit area is people don't realize there's like 5 million people in the metro area. Okay. Five million people in the Detroit metro area. Turn left onto Washtenaw Avenue. It's really then a turn big right area. onto North Hamilton Street. Apartments for rent. <coughs> I 
I love how many axles the trucks have here in Michigan. But they have like extra axles. So they can destroy the roads better. It's, it's just only. So where's everybody behind us anyway? Because they're turning apparently. Turn like right you're supposed to. Well, that's kind of rude of me. I had no idea I was turning. Um, I want to go a block ahead. I, I don't want to seem Continue like a jerk. Continue on North Hamilton Street for three quarters of a mile. Wow, it's like a traffic jam. Head east on Washtenaw Avenue toward North Hamilton Street. Turn right onto North Adams Street. Ipsilanti! I mean, this time really caught me off guard. Turn right onto West Michigan Avenue. I had like very low expectations for this place. Mm Riding willies on the road. Oh, his bicycle watch. Here he comes. Okay. So this town has the most interesting looking people I've seen anywhere across America. Mm -hmm. Ow! Continue on South Hamilton Street for half a mile. Everybody's doing something. Mm -hmm. Like riding an interesting vehicle or a bicycle or wearing an interesting hat or a colorful outfit. Yeah. It's a very vibrant type of place. Up ahead, you're going to turn left on Harriet. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Harriet Street. This is one. Mm -hmm. I always get nervous driving on the left lane of a one way because I feel like I'm driving in the wrong direction. I feel like I'm in England. Turn left onto Harriet Street. Is that the turning lane? Yeah, that's the turning Hard to tell because it's all like beat up. So I guess you can turn on that on green, right? Yeah. What a rust bucket. Continue for three quarters of a mile. And you're going to get on the right here. And you can turn. You're alright. I'm going to tell you how you're done. Get into the right lane. When I feel like it. I was like, just get in the right lane. I don't want to be in the turn. We're not turning. We're not turning. No one's behind me. I want to be in the. I want to be in the middle. Mm -hmm. Look how rough these roads are. I don't want to like fly off and hit a ditch. In a quarter mile, turn right onto South Grove Street. Oh, what's up, bro? Oh, Grove. I thought it was Bro Street. Grove Street, like on Grand Theft Auto. Cool, maybe we'll see CJ from San Andreas. 
What's up with all people feeding ducks? Look at the Canada geese. Familiar. They're feeding Canada geese. Turn right onto South Grove Street. The right. roads are rough, man. I wonder what happens here that makes these roads be so rough. Snow. When the water freezes, it cracks the concrete. Mm -hmm. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Service Drive. Okay, so this side of town's a little bit more rundown. That side over there seemed nicer. This is like more abandoned. Maybe. This is the area that I was looking on Google Earth. Turn left onto Service Drive. Shopping Plaza. I bet there's homeless people all through there. Oh, there's a grocery store in there. Nice. Yeah, man, this is a great place to grow up. Nice. But you can't go there. I want to look at it. Huh? I want to check it out. Nice. Wow. You lived in this neighborhood. That's pretty cool. Head south towards Service Drive. Wow, I never knew you were from the streets. Sorry. <laughs> All this time I thought you lived in the suburbs when you were growing up. Come to find out. Hold on. I don't want to, I want to see what's in the shopping plaza over here. It looks so interesting. The school bus coming at us. <clears throat> Supermarket. In 800 feet, turn right onto Borgstrom Avenue. I don't know if they're going to let us go in there, but... They're not. Head south they towards Service Drive. They might think we're doing something important. Head west on Service Drive Just look for like Emirates pretend Street. you're doing something important. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto South Grove Street. Oh. Nice. South towards Service Drive. Look at all this. Look at abandoned, abandoned. Turn the volume on. I think it's close. Disconnect and turn the volume off. Like so rusted out. How do you do that to a car in Florida? This looks like Para Hill, Montgomery. This reminds me of Para Hill. Where are we going? I don't know. I'm just gonna figure this out. Where are we going?
This looks like Perry Hill McGurn. Ironically, looks exactly like the Perry Hill neighborhood. Do you want to go to Ann Arbor or do you want to go to? Uh, do you want to go to Ann Arbor or do you want to go to um, Detroit? It's already 4 in the afternoon. Ann Arbor. Really? You wanted to go to Detroit. Yeah, it's 3 it's dull. <laughs> you know what? Remember, the later you're going to Detroit, the scarier it gets. Already at this time, it's already late to be going to Detroit. When you're going to Detroit at night, at night that's, all, that's on you. Yes, getting there. Um, but see that road that goes through Ypsilanti? Mm -hmm. yeah, GPS and I'll see what it tells you. Twenty two minutes. And that's on the interstate, that's not even in the back rooms. Go to Detroit. Honestly, this doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, I will go Ann Arbor. Okay. Put it on the GPS so it tells me where to go. We're going to Ann Arbor? Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> This looks exactly like Logan. Head north on Leicester Avenue toward Evelyn Avenue, then turn right onto Evelyn Avenue. Ow! Turn right onto Evelyn Avenue, then turn left onto Cher Avenue. Looks like a little <coughs> Turn left onto Cher Avenue, then turn left onto South Harris Road. It'd be great if you could turn the freaking map on. Why is it showing up? It's on. Left here? Yeah. Ow! Look, they got a, look, a liker. Look, a neighborhood liker stove. Thank you, sir. In and out. Oh, it's a food store. Can get mm -hmm. some, some water? You know, this looks like a great neighborhood you grew up in, Katie. You know, I always thought you grew up in a dumpy place, but now that I'm here, I can see this is a great area you grew up in. I'm going to get some water for us. This looks like a nice neighborhood corner store. Yeah. You know, I had all these bad contacts of, you know, where you grew up. But now that I come here, I can see this is a great area. In a quarter mile, turn right out of Michigan 17 East. What not? You want water? Yeah. Temporarily and... Temporarily no sale. No A style. Okay. Okay. See if I can fix this thing. Get it to show. There we go. Okay. The map is broken for some reason.
Head north on South Harris Road. There we go. Perfect. And this is perfect. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, they're gonna have the homie behind a glass case. He's like behind a glass case. You have to give him the money through one hole and then go get your stuff out the other hole. <laughs> it's like <laughs> case from the hood, dog. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. I, I find it interesting. They have the the, the person like inside a glass cage. water my friend sink off to Ann Arbor yes well I'm so glad to see your shout home neighborhood baby this is uh just uh nice you know mm -hmm. very nice very nice <coughs> nice very nice We're up in a great place, Mary. Yeah, 30 Head years ago. Head on Service Drive toward Hull Avenue. Yeah. Head southeast on Service Drive toward Cher Avenue. Then turn left onto Cher Avenue. You're going Avenue. the wrong way, buddy. Turn hey. left onto South Harris Road. <coughs> yeah, you grew up in a great area. Absolutely. Yeah, your neighborhood was the best place to live in Lips Lampy. I can tell this is the best part of town, you know. And you grew up in a really nice area, load. Mm -hmm. In a quarter mile, uh, turn right onto Michigan 17 East. Yeah, you grew up in a great, great area, man. Yeah, great, great family-oriented neighborhood you grew up in. What out about that? <laughs> Nice. I had some great memories. Oh yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Turn right onto Michigan 17 East. Yeah, great, great neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Great neighborhood, though. And Ann Arbor gets a little more hilly. Yeah. <laughs> In a quarter oh, mile, look, another uh, right liquor store. US 12 West. I'm so glad to come to your childhood neighborhood and see where you were growing up and stuff like that. You know, it's just uh, real nice, baby. Head south real on nice. Woodlawn Avenue toward Tyler Road. Real nice, baby. It's just, uh, I'm sure you're really making some great memories here. Ah! Sorry. in here Ipsy Market Subway Boost Mobile uh, another barbershop rich quarter chicken grocery lotto and <coughs> I'm sure there are a lot Head of neighborhood corner Hastings. stores around here huh that's interesting there's a lot of neighborhood corner stores here baby all right let's go let's get going now Happy, Katie. Ow! Oh, yeah. Michigan 17 East. Okay, let's go. All those Turn poor right stomach the problems they're having again. It helps me. <laughs> <laughs> Turn right on the Michigan 
sure you guys want to go to Detroit. In a quarter mile, turn right onto US 12 West. Alright, we'll go to Hanover. You know Ford Boulevard goes from here all the way into Detroit? Like, we could just literally be in Detroit. Do you want to go to Detroit? I do. I want to get the crap out of here. This is the start of Ford. This road goes from here all the way into the city's room. Turn right <coughs> to US 12 West. Ford Broncos parked in the parking lot. They make Ford in Michigan, Jose. Is there a Ford plant here? Mm -hmm. They make Ford Broncos here? No wonder those cars are a pile of. Uh, American Engineering. Uh, great. Uh, yeah, we'll buy one. No doubt about it. <coughs> well, you know, I like Broncos. Alright guys, so that's Lipalampy. Ipsilanti. Ipsilanti. Alright, check it out. 